Hello, excitement in the air and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's France up against Poland. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Number 13, Yusuf Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. A look at the starting lineup for Poland. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation, but without wing backs. So, although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And they kick off here. Kylian Mbappe. Now, let's see what they can do here. Promising move. And using his body to good effect. Well, France dazzled in the round of 16 game at the last World Cup against Argentina. Highly entertaining contest, 4-3. But at the last Euros... They were dumped out in the round of 16 by Switzerland on penalties. So, interesting to see how this one goes. But I think this French side will have learnt their lessons from that game. They've got a top-class manager, they've got some excellent players. They all look to be in decent form. I can't see any other result than a France win here. They should go through to the last eight. Szymaniewski. This is Robert Lewandowski. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But quick thinking defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Griezmann. And a decent save for credit. He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. Lewandowski. Karol Świderski. Szymaniewski. This is looking threatening. Great pressure to win the ball back. Superb block. Chouameni. Chance to run at them. 
but nothing comes of it. And out of play for a throw in to France. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Chance to attack using wit. And a significant block following that cross. Not a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Delivering it. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Not great from the keeper, but I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Lucas Hernandez. That is that for the first half here. And the game begins. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Can they forge ahead? They do! So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage France after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Oh, well, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And maybe a chance here for France to extend their advantage. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Let's see about the delivery. Well, still an issue here. Griezmann. And perhaps Griezmann just narrowly off target.
Svidevsky. Well, taken away, he won the ball. Mbappe. Now, who can he play it to? Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. And they will make the change now. Thirty minutes left for play. This attack looks highly promising. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. Well, it's been complete domination for France in the last 15 minutes, and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Oh, could be! Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Rabio. 20 minutes to go. And he has options available. Griezmann. And the keeper is delighted to see that sail well over the bar. Goal kick. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Man. Benzema. Oh, he's gone for goal. And foiled only by the crossbar. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. A really sumptuous ball. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, just watch this again. Griezmann's pass is inch perfect, and Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. How to dispossess your opponent. Mbappe. Oh, in with a chance. Terrific save. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Kaminski. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And a fine cross. And it's over! France are through to the quarterfinals. Yeah, it was a good overall display, especially up front, where their clever movement and combination play cause lots of problems. They'll certainly fancy their chances going into the next round.